Hey everybody. A couple of days ago I shot a video and I talked a little bit about the temperature in my tanks and I stumbled upon a mystery. I, uh, I had inconsistent temperatures not only around the room but within certain tanks. This tank in particular had a three or nearly three degree temperature difference from one end of the tank to the other. That doesn't make any sense at all. I just, I've been racking my brain about it. Uh, I just, it does not make any sense at all. The tank has lots of circulation in it. Um, the heat sources within the tank, whether they are uh, electrical sources or the lights above it or the heater, tank heater itself, uh, these should not account for why the temperature would be different from one end of the tank to the other. So I thought about it and I thought about it and suddenly it occurred to me that... This is the thermometer I used, and this thermometer is supposed to have a laser beam on it. See that red laser beam right there? We were not seeing that red laser beam last time we used this thermometer. So what that told me was the batteries were low. Mystery solved. Let's go around the room and have a look again at tank temperature. 80.4. 82.2, are we going to go through this again? <laughs> 80.6, so right here dead center, up at the top where the light's shining right on those plants, it's a little bit warmer, only by about a degree. 82.7. Let's try down here. 80.4, 80.2, so I'm guessing that our problem has been solved. Let's try not to freak Butterbean out here. I startled him earlier, especially when I shine a laser beam in his tank. He really didn't know what to make of that. 80.1, so the point of my other video was that my tanks generally, whether they're heated or not, all sit consistently around 80 degrees in this room, just because the whole room is that temperature. This is a little cooler because it's down by the floor. And indeed, if we take a look at the room temperature itself we are in the upper 70s it's rather warm in here and then of course you get these tanks that have all these bright lights directly on them and you start really running the temperatures up this tank seemed unusually cool the other day for what i tend to think it is i always thought it sat around 80 degrees and we got 79.7 .7, 81.1 81 the top of it's probably really warm where that light shines on it 81.3 uh, this is another tank this should be a little cooler let's see if my guesstimates are more accurate now that we've got batteries exactly 76 77 degrees is usually about where this tank sits it sat that temperature for years uh, this tank should be right around 80 maybe even 81 81.3 See, we're getting consistent numbers again. The batteries were low on my thermometer, and that was where we were running into issues. So you can see most of the tanks in this room do sit around 80 degrees, and my heaters, the tanks in this room that have heaters, I actually only have set for about 76 or 77 degrees. I, they just never run. I just I never have to use the heaters in here because of all the lights on all the tanks keep them so warm so like I said all of the tanks in this room are sit consistently right around 80 degrees so I feel a lot better about this now that was really really bothering me of why my tank temperatures were so out of whack and it was not the tanks it was my thermometer I was wondering why this tank was the warmest in the room and it was by far the warmest in the room and it should not have been. It shouldn't sit any warmer than any other tanks that sit in this room. It's the room temperature, more or less, and the lights on the tanks that are dictating the temperature of these tanks. 
and again we're sitting here consistently right around 80 degrees in all of my tanks so there you go everybody mystery solved um glad of it i guess we'll do this one last tank did we already do this one i think we did but we'll do it again yeah not surprising we're sitting right i was trying not to laser beam my fish in the eyeballs 79.3 this tank will probably be a little cooler because it's got a little rinky dink light on it yep 77.2 all right everybody all is right with the world i'll be able to sleep easier tonight thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed you never know what you're going to get with me and whenever i do stumble upon something that i'm not sure about i pick at it until i figure it out uh, or finally give up in frustration so that's always worth watching to find out uh, what's going on when i do discover a mystery so make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any of that uh, out of all my tanks down here the one we're looking at right now at the moment is my gudgeon and t-bar tank so thanks for watching again hope you enjoyed i'll see you real soon in the next one